Welcome to the channel. My name is Kubair. C19. Now, this is another subject that we, we it, it, it's like right on top of so many people's mind. What is C19? Let me. So, Bill C19 was tabled in the month of April, okay, because this is part of the financial budget changes that were proposed. Uh, in 2020, 2020, 2021, and 2022 now in, in the recent budget as well, whereby the, 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 the proposal indicated that the Minister of Immigration should have uh, more authority when choosing who to invite an express entry system. As of right now, we all know that there are three programs in express entry system, your Canadian experience class, the federal skilled workers, and federal skilled trade categories. Only three categories of people or three programs in express entry system. There are no other categories. So if the immigration minister wanted to sort of, you know, identify only specific profiles and invite them, there was no system or allowance in the law or ERPA, Immigration Refugee Protection Act, or if you Immigration Refugee Protection Regulations for him to be able to do that. So there was a proposal which was tabled. And now on the 28th of April, they have finally proposed, or they have finally tabled a bill, which is also termed as Bill C-19, which is proposing changes to lots of different sections of different laws as proposed in the federal uh, finance budget. And of this big bill, Bill C-19, there is a small portion which is covering the immigration. And in that, they are proposing that the changes be made to ERPA, which is Immigration Refugee Protection Act, to allow the immigration minister to make categories within the express entry pool so that they can then choose the people of those categories and their rank. So based on the CRS score of those categories or those people in those categories and invite them only for that particular draw. So basically, for example, if the immigration minister now wanted to invite only truck drivers, because that is where the shortage is, they will go into the express entry pool, keeping in mind that the truck drivers would now be eligible in express entry starting November somewhere in November once the the near tier level has been implemented so the express and so the minister would have the authority and will have the law on his side to go into the express entry pool and say okay I want to invite 2000 truck drivers whose lowest CRS score is let's say 300 or 250 or 280 or even 75 as we all know and he would be absolutely be able to do that. He might want to sort of go and say, okay, we want to bring in some dental assistance because you're facing a problem with that. So let's invite 1,000 dental assistants who are destined or whose preference of wanting to immigrate to Canada is in the province of, uh, or rather any of the Atlantic provinces. And let's identify those 1,000 people and only send invitations to those 1,000 people. They could do the same with accountants. They could do the same with information technology occupations, your knock codes that of you have, their IT knock codes. They could do the same thing with some engineers. They could do the same thing with some sales professionals or the HR professionals, depending on the uh, market research or the, the, the stakeholders in the business who would then say that this is where the shortages are. This is Bill C-19. This is what this Bill C-19 would allow the immigration minister to do. So far, let me quickly take you through this so that you understand this better. So this is the website of the House of Commons, which basically gives you more information about the Bill C-19. You can read all about it if you were to go to the website. Don't worry about the, the link. It is in the description box for you to read. If the question was, can this, be, can, the, can this bill be passed in the month of June? Then technically, yes, it can. Do I think it can? Well, uh, I'm, I'm still a bit doubtful, but you know, with the way things are moving and they are moving pretty fast here, it can definitely be done in the month of June. Would that mean that the changes that are being proposed come in the month of July? Now, that is so much bigger discussion. This Bill C-19, and because it will create categories, will all these categories be implemented or these changes be made in the month of July when the draws happen. That is what is bothering so many of you out there because once the categories start happening, even if you are a high scorer, even if your score is 500 plus, once the category draws happen, and if you are not in one of those categories, you will not receive an ITA. You will not be able to apply for permanent residence. So in order to answer that question, again, I will ask you to refer back to the memo that I was talking about earlier. <coughs> On this particular page, in the green, it says the department will be conducting generic rounds of X number of candidates every two weeks, which will be cons consistent with the average number of invitations. Now, 
because of this memo, I'm hoping that these categories are yet to be decided. That is what the representative of the immigration minister said in the last committee meeting when he was categorically and explicitly asked that have the categories been defined yet? And he said, no, they haven't defined. Now, one of the other things that you need to be mindful of, and this is basically for people who are so interested with what's happening over here. In this, in this bill C-19, uh, obviously the report by the committee was shared, but the committee report or rather did make a recommendation. And the recommendation says, that for the purpose of establishing categories of eligible foreign nationals, the minister must engage in a public consultation with different stakeholders, which is good. Obviously, the minister must, should not do this by themselves, but they should obviously take advice of all different stakeholders. But not only that, and it says over here, the minister shall, shall cause to be tabled before each house of parliament, no later than so and so date, a report containing the list of categories of eligible foreign nationals establish in the instruction. So basically, what is this? What, what are they talking about? The recommendation of the committee was that, yes, if you want to make the categories, go ahead and make them. But these categories should be made with the consultation of all the stakeholders of you know, different provinces, different departments, ESDC, uh, Stats Canada, the Labour Ministries, etc, etc. And those people should make these recommendations in writing. So they should have the writing. And at the start of the year, every year, when the parliament is in session, then the minister should come and announce the categories that they have established for that year. Now, I think it's a brilliant uh, suggestion, brilliant amendment. Why? Because it then gives you a head start into knowing what categories would be included in that year so that you can plan accordingly. So if you know that your category is not in, in, in that one year of period, you don't have to stress and worry about it. You could probably move on to different things that it is right now not knowing which categories will be invited, which will which will put you on pins and needles. Every single express entry draw would be like a lottery. Like you don't know whether you got called or you didn't get called. Express entry will become like Alberta. <laughs> Nobody would know who's going to be invited, right? And with that kind of uncertainty, it makes you know this whole program really questionable. It puts a lot of stress on a lot of people. Big, big impact, big changes. C-19 has been on everybody's uh, you know, um, attention right now. And let's hope and pray that this sort of takes these amendments that have been proposed are definitely implemented. Otherwise, you and I, we will all be speculating and we will definitely not know who is going to be called next. Thank you so much for joining in once again. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. It's going to be a crackerjacker of a session again as we do that. 10.30 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I shall see you at that point of time. Until such time, take care and I'll see you tomorrow.